Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at the clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, BPAL Picks Edition. That's right, BPAL Picks. The Patreon Ophrolic, you can find it in the description, where you will get these fine picks five day, seven days a week. You get them five days a week here. I also do a show three to five, Monday to Friday, three to five Eastern PM, and uh, ooh, we had frolic. We had Steel from Steel Flyers on there today, and uh, E Money, E Money from On the Money Podcast, and we had we had a brouhaha. We did. There was a frolic. The you could feel the frolic from Mars. I'm sure. I, don't, I didn't ask anybody in Mars, but I'm just guessing. It was great. Uh, we talked about all the, we did picks, and we talked about all the, we talked about the game, the Washington game. We predicted how many fights there were going to be. I said one. I thought there was only going to be one fight. I thought they were going to bring up some dude from the minors. They were going to scrap, and that was it. There were six, seven, something like that. Anyways. Quite the ordeal. And then, of course, well, we'll talk about that when we talk about the game. But Oshie gets a hat trick for his pappy. That was a pretty cool. No, it was a great game. Anyway, I did that live for play-by-play with Off the Wall Hockey, the GOAT from Off the Wall Hockey. We did a live play-by-play. Uh, I did the uh, color, I guess. Color comment? Is that, is that what I am? The an- analysis? I was on with them. It was fun. Very fun. We got like a hundred people watching and woo, it was good times. Okay, I want to go show you a little something that was uh, put in our chat box. And uh, I love it when you do that chat box stuff. If you don't want me to post it on here, just tell me in the thing. I don't want to post it or whatever. I, I'm not, I won't show it all. But I wanted to show you this one. And then we're going to go into the uh, picks for the sixth, I believe. Yes, the picks for Wednesday or Thursday the sixth. And then we'll show you how we did today. It was mm, kind of depends on what happens with LA here. Uh, but it was okay. It wasn't great. It was okay. I think we're breaking even or maybe a little bit under. But okay. Let's go look at it now. Pearl, I am so glad I found your channel. Smooth trucking this is. I have paid off my house, my car, bought three wives for my pleasure. You are the best. Please pay this guy your hard-earned money, and you will win it back in a hundred folds. This guy is God's left-hand man. Wow. Yeah. I'm actually God's right-hand man because he's right-handed. So, yeah. But uh, besides that, I'd like to know where you got your uh, wives. Is it some sort of, uh, like, value village of wives or something like that? The uh, the house of wives? Because <laughs> you bought three wives for your pleasure. Wow. Were they, that's, uh, that's interesting. Paid off your house and your car. Well, there you go. Give them your hard earned money because you're going to make it a hundred folds. I'm not sure about that. Uh, wouldn't, I don't know if I recommend the buying of the wives, but, uh, if it works for you, I suppose. You might be able to, you can buy husbands too, I'm sure. I'm sure you can find that on uh, eBay. Buy yourself some husbands. Pretty sure. Okay, let's go to the picks for the day. I just wanted to show you that. That was funny. I thought that was pretty funny, Mr. Smooth Trucking. Um, Now we're going to go to the picks of the day. Uh, Rangers versus Boston. Rangers on a back-to-back after getting spanked all the crap yesterday. Emotional game. Boston wins, right? 
in regulation. I got Boston in regulation. Should be Rask and Shesterkin though. However, I think I'm still going to go over here. I'm not a big fan of the total. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm going to go over. I think the Rangers are going to be pretty spent playing on a back-to-back. -back. Boston should be angry. They've lost to Buffalo. I think the Wizzy Islanders lost to Buffalo. They lost to New Jersey last game. I don't know what it is with them in New Jersey. But uh, I know that it's not the same against the Rangers. They do very well against them. And I think they'll do very well tomorrow. So I'm taking Boston and the over. Islanders versus New Jersey. The Islanders can only score against the Rangers, apparently. They had trouble with Buffalo. They're trying to figure things out. Blackwood should be in net. I think I'm going to go with New Jersey here uh, to keep on rolling and playing well in, uh, you know, in the spoiler role, 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 I guess. Maybe puck line. Let's go puck line. Let's go on the spread. Uh, the Islanders could come out and start scoring, but Blackwood's playing extremely well. And uh, the Islanders just can't seem to produce offense at a regular basis right now. So I think they'll play very defensive. It'll be an under 5.5 in New Jersey. Just might pull it out, but at least keep it close. So that's what I'm going on that one. Uh, Buffalo versus Pittsburgh. I don't know what to do with this. These are supposed to be really easy. Tukarski's in that, but it doesn't seem to matter. Or no, they're going to go back to Hauser again, the ECHL guy that just won two against the Islanders. I don't think they're going to have as much problem, uh, much success, as much success against Pittsburgh as they did, did the Islanders. The Islanders are struggling scoring, and they did manage to score some on this Hauser kid. The guy, he's 28. He's not even, if they even play Hauser again, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to take Pittsburgh. Um, and I'm going to have to do it in reg because I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're not getting getting 132 here over on Bet Online. Uh, am I centered? Yeah, I am. Good. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, 132. So. Carolina, Chicago. I'm going to keep on rolling with Carolina. I thought about this because Carolina's played. This will be seven games. Last was six and nine. Six and ten. Seven and eleven. Is that right? Seven games in eleven days. I don't like that. But Chicago's also playing three and four, and they looked already tired as it was. I think this is going to be an under. It says Reimer in net, but I don't know why they would do that. I can't see it. Nedeljkovic. He's got to go with Nedeljkovic here. Uh, even Morazic, maybe, but not Reimer. Chicago, go back to Lankin and again. Uh, this is the thing. Goaltending is going to be an issue here. If it's Lankanen versus Nedeljkovic, I'm going to go the under here because they're both tired. Uh, but I'm going to go with Carolina. Their system and their depth and everything, they should be able to just grind this one out in regulation. Montreal versus Toronto, we have no odds. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Odds people. I'll have to call them up. These people at Odd Shark. Uh, Daryl. Daryl. I think that's his name. I call him up. Tell him to get his crap together. Got people waiting for this fine programming here. Anyways, no odds. Uh, Toronto versus Montreal. I'm taking Toronto. Montreal's in a back-to-back. -back. Just beat, uh, just lost to Ottawa, yes. Uh, I predicted they would lose to Ottawa I, because I thought that they were going to overlook this game with Toronto coming up, and they've struggled against Ottawa. Toronto's had rest. They should have Campbell in that. Are they going to go back-to-back -back with Allen again? I think they're going to put Primo Montrealers. I'm taking Toronto, and if you have managed to get a 5.5, I'll go. I'm going to go over. I think Toronto's going to rip them up tomorrow. 
Vancouver versus Edmonton. Vancouver just, just cannot get moving. They can't. They're just dead tired. They're dead. They're trying to get through the season. Uh, their COVID really kicked their butt. And McDavid is just going to levels that are beyond what we can comprehend. We had a discussion today about whether McDavid will be better than Gretzky or um, Mario Lemieux or, you know, the greats. And uh, the talk was uh, Steele and them were saying, well, you know, they got he's got they, the first I got to see him win cups and all that stuff like that. And I, I guess that's how you look at it. Is he going to have the better career or is he the better player? OK, there's there's a difference. You can have, you can be a really good player and have a poor career because you're on a bad team or whatever. I don't think I've ever seen a player be this much better than everybody else. In my days, apparently Bobby Orr was that. Maybe. Uh, Wayne Gretzky was a considerably better than everybody else. But you had Stevie Eisenman, you had Mary Lemieux. I don't know. I think I, I've never seen a guy that can skate like McDavid, and that includes Gretzky. Nobody that can skate with like McDavid with the puck on the stick and make a lot of the moves that he does at that speed. I'm really leaning to McDavid being the best player that, that ever played the game. So you tell me in the comment section what you think. You think I'm full of it? Because you're gonna, I know you're going to do. You're going to bring up the statistics. And how many uh, uh, Gretzky scored and all that stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, but what I just said was Dominic Hasek was the best goaltender I ever saw stop pucks. I don't care that Patrick Waugh has the most wins or whatever. Nobody stopped pucks better than Dominic Hasek. That makes him, to me, the best goalt goaltender of all time, period. So, but... I could be wrong about that. Tell me what you think. I love hearing what you guys think. Okay, take off if you just wanted the picks. Go now. Off with you. Take your protractors. Don't leave them all askew. A strew? Strewn all over. That's it. Strewn. Does anybody use the word strewn anymore? Don't leave them strewn all over. Like I'm always having to pick them up for you guys. Okay, let's look at our pick. Uh, quickly look at the games. That happened tonight. We'll see how we did. Uh, this will be cool if it stays this score. I'll have the Kings and the under. That'll put me really good. Really good. No empty net goal, please. I'm watching it right now, actually. Uh, no, no empty net or so far. Uh, this I did not have this one right. I thought the Flames really pooped the bed here. The Jets just flew all the way across. Uh, Canada to play this game and they lose 4 nothing, Not good. Anyways, I had the under, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, Sharks versus Avalanche lost everything here. I had large on the Avalanche and reg. And uh, Kornarsh, I, I don't I could go on and on about why, what's going on with the Sharks here. Why Colorado isn't playing a top-notch game going into the playoffs. But I won't. And just say that I lost four units on that play. Uh, Golden Knights Wild, we were, I had large on, I had medium on the Golden Knights. I also had the overs. It was pretty much a wash. Uh, Ducks, we had the under for the larger bet and the blues for the small bet. So we're up a little bit on that one. Uh, really surprised the blues didn't beat up on the Ducks there. Really surprised. Uh, I I was this was one of those ones where you're like, this feels like the Blue Jackets win this because uh, the Predators are score watching and see the Lightning losing like this, and then maybe just kind of take a breather. And that seems to be what happened, but I didn't put it. I also had the under. I lost on that quite a bit. I think I'm down. I had the Predators for large and uh, the under for a unit, so I'm down four more. Uh, capitals, I gained it back here. We had Capitals in reg for large. And uh, we had 
What was it? The over or under? Oh, we had the over. Over five and a half for large. So we had the we had both for large here. Picked up about oh, was I down five or six units? So we're breaking even. Had the senators here, but we also had the under. I got I got up a unit though because it was a the senators play was a big two two forty or something like that. So we're up about a unit on that one. So we're up a unit. And oh, you know what? I ended up being up today again. I'm thinking I sucked and I turned out I'm not. I had the lightning for large. And oh, I had the under. So I'm up like a unit and a half. It's not bad. Considering we're playing all the games, totals and, you know. So I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I just thought it was going to be better. I'm a perfectionist. I want to be right about everything. Uh, no, it was a 4-2 final. Okay, I'm down. They did score an empty netter. Crap. Now I'm even. No, down half a unit. I'm down half a unit. Okay. So I'm down half a unit. Oh, well. They had to score an empty netter. Jeez. Tick me off. Well, boys and girls, that's our full 42%. That's all I have to give today. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, same time. It's tomorrow, Thursday. Also, really love to see you at the show. Really would. Uh, hopefully you could see everything I was doing there. And I was doing that. Uh, 3 to 5 tomorrow. It is so much fun. You will love it. You will love it. Take Just take a day off work. Watch the show, 3 to 5. Or listen to it at work. Come on. What do you, what's so important? Really? Really? Nothing. Nothing is more important than seeing my show. I'm going to go have a nap. I like the nap thing. I'm going to I'm writing a book called uh, the uh, um, the benefits of pants free living. So uh, I'm going to have a nap. I'm going to write a couple passages on that. And maybe I'll go over to uh, to uh, Chinky's house of uh, pro uh, house of uh, Pilates after that. Do some yoga. You guys have a great day. Okay, bye.